Hello, my name is Julia Heath. I'm the current student body president. And with me, I have the two candidates for next year, Maximus and Ellis. And today we're going to do an interview so that you guys can get to know your candidates a little better. Hi guys, I'm Ellis. Hi, I'm Maximus Schur, three year senator. All right, and we will get started. So the first question is, why did you decide to run for SVP? Maximus, if you wanna start us off. Well, that's a good question because for me, student body president is more than just a student government position. When I was a freshman, I looked up to the student body president and really saw a leader, not only at our school, but also in our community. He made all of our events fun and it was rewarding to take part in all of those really great CHS traditions. So I want to run for student body president so that all of us can be one community and be united together as Greyhounds. And I want to make sure that all of our events come back, especially since COVID hit us really hard. And I think we all need a little bit of fun. And Ellis, um, if you'll answer the same question, why did you decide to run for SVP? Um, similarly, um, I, I, became a I became a senator my freshman year. And over the years I've noticed that at least overall participation for our events have significantly decreased, especially with COVID-19. So the reason I want to be student body president is because I want to try to implement plans and getting more student involvement in general. Uh, this can range from taking polls or just straight asking people around on what they want to see from Senate events. So the reason I want to be student body president is because I want to try to foster an environment where we can get back to normal and have most importantly fun events with more students coming in. And the second question, what unique experiences have you had that make you qualified for this position? Ellis, if you want to start us off. So I'll just run through my qualifications real quick. Um, I was elected in the Senate since when I was in eighth grade, and I've been a three-year senator ever since. Since my freshman year, I've become part of Executive Council, which is this subgroup of Senate, which helps out with Dance Marathon, as you guys might know, and overall cabinet in general. I've done that also for three years. And uh, I think a unique position I hold is I'm the student body vice president. Um, I was elected out of the group of senators to help support the student body president, so Julia. So I think Julia can help vouch for my competency. But, uh, yeah, that's a unique position I hold. And I feel like I'm very qualified in all those different aspects. All right, and Maximus, same question. What unique experiences have you had that make you qualified for this position? Well, to be student body vice president, a student body president, you need to have strong leadership skills and communication skills. And I've been a senator for all three of my years, and I brought my skills from TechOwns that I've also been on for three years. And I've 3D printed keychains. I've made custom laser cut pins, which have not been done before. And I did it all by making sure my committee all felt like they had a part and felt included in all of our events. And as student body president, I want to continue that tradition and continue to unite all of our students so that we can have a really great high school experience. All right, um, next question. It is important for the SVP to connect with the student body that they are representing. What other extracurriculars are you involved in and how have they helped you get to know the students here at CHS? And Maximus, if you'll start us off. So, I have gone very in depth into Tech Hounds and Senate. So Senate has connected me with a lot of students through elections, through running our different events like parts of homecoming, the winter dance, and just recently Brain Games trivia competition on CHTV. And I've also had my YouTube channel, Mechanical Max, which aired on CHTV a few months ago. And that has given me experience with entrepreneurship and meeting people and companies even overseas to bring together a team of innovative, passionate people to really just have a great time and to meet, make high school mean something more than just staring at a laptop and answering questions. All right, and then Ellis, um, what other extracurriculars are you involved in and how have they helped you get to know the students here at CHS. Yeah, going off what Max was said about being a community leader, if you're student body president, um, I've had a wide range of extracurricular activities. Um, I'm partic I participate in cross country wrestling and track. I'm also a member of DECA and I placed first in state. I'm, bad in track. Mm -hmm. I'm also part of HOSA and Common Youth Council, which participates in helping the community around us 
um, like plan such planning events. And um, also, uh, we're also having this this puppy talent show. So just look out for that as well. But just going back in general, I think I have a very holistic view and I ra- I have a lot of ranging extracurricular activities, which give me a unique perspective in uh, karma as a whole. I'm um, not just from high school, that really helped me out with student body president. So just have a lot of different ranging extracurriculars. All right. And lastly, what new proposals do you have for this coming year and what ideas would you implement if elected? And Alice, if you will start us off. I keep coming back to the idea of student participation because I think it's a really crucial point, um, especially coming out of COVID-19. So as I previously I'm going to try to get more student involvement through polls and just asking students around, especially what they want. Um, but additionally, I want to put a bigger emphasis on um, events that have been I, I shouldn't say lackluster, but have been decreasing population or participation over the last few years. And those events are the Blood Drive and the Winter Dance specifically. Um, I want the Winter Dance to be something special like the next year because Senate kind of runs it. So I really want it to be a hype event, just like Homecoming event for that. Yeah. All right. And then Maximus, what new proposals do you have for this coming year and what ideas would you implement if elected? Well, I've actually been thinking about this question ever since freshman year. And I really want to have more student involvement. And more specifically, I plan to implement this by having surveys that can be sent out to everybody, specifically for spirit weeks and themed dances like the winter dance, so that everybody can feel connected to the events. So it's not just some group of students choosing an event, it's all of Carmel High School coming together and participating in one Carmel High School event. And I also want to connect more clubs because in my experience, it's a lot of different bubbles around each and every club. So some people might only see people in the science club or on the track team, but if Senate can be the club that unites every club to become one Greyhound community, that would be a very impactful high school experience. And we could do this by having more opportunities for clubs to advertise what they do at dances or having new events or even at homecoming during the booths. And it's just very important to me that all of the underclassmen that are watching to know that it's gonna be my senior year. So I wanna pull out all the stops and make next year the best year Carmel High School has ever had. Are there any final thoughts that you guys would like to add that I haven't asked already? Um, as said previously, I'm really excited going to next year, regardless of whether or not I become student body president. But I think with my extracurriculars and unique perspective on Karma High School as a whole, it makes me a very unique candidate, not only to unite Karma High School, but just to be a center or a voice for Senate in general. Um, lastly, follow LSU on Instagram. Um, help me pump up those followers. And I'm really excited for tomorrow. Thanks, guys. All right. And Maximus, same for you, any final thoughts? All right, well, juniors, next year is actually our senior year. So if you guys want to have memories that don't involve COVID, then vote for me for president so that we can make that happen. And underclassmen, we have some catching up to do. We gotta get you some experiences that you'll remember for your entire high school experience. So thank you and get the most with Max. All right. Thank you for joining me, Maximus and Ellis. And thank Thank you you. for everyone who is watching. And that's it for today.